even though I told myself that I'm not gonna vlog anymore, you know, like, but I have my camera with me all the time, and how can I not vlog these cutie pies over here? Look at them. If I whistle, they will all come to me. Let's try that. Let's try that. Alright, you see, two of them are here, one of them over there. The other one right there. Let's whistle. The other one is a bit playful. Look at the other one. It's going to come so badly. What's up? What's up? Do you want to say anything to the camera? Do you want to say anything to the people who are watching you right now? Talk to them. They're here. Tell them something. You don't want to? Not even a sentence? Vlogging was uh, some sort of experience which I gained like uh, less than a hundred subscribers and more than 2k more than 2.5k views which is good you know like I only managed to video blog for 100 days there were not like 100 consecutive days but uh, I managed to put up 100 videos I think at least 70 vlogs were consecutive which means it happened like every day I happened to video blog then uh, edit and upload the day which was not easy at all that's why those who do daily vlogging they got to earn from what they do from the daily vlogging else is it's just not right you know like to do daily vlogging and not getting any money out of it anyway uh, that was the experience which I gained uh, by just doing daily vlogging. I think it was good. Uh, I definitely learned something new. I definitely did something which uh, I missed and somewhere that the lighting is good and you can see me. I definitely will do it again and I want to talk a lot, but right now I'm feeling like something which uh, it cheered me up, it motivated me to the max, and gives me the energy to reboost myself and do another vlogging another vlogging season is like those people who are like commenting and giving the support they're sending messages to you and they're telling you that you got to be strong and do more vlogging for us it's fun we like it you know like they are giving you some sort of responsibility that you feel like if you don't do it you feel guilty that's what it is because it's something that you can do it and people are enjoying it and some did really understand what vlogging is like showing the life of uh, an ordinary Iranian inside Iran from Tehran from the capital city of Iran 
itself to the entire world on internet is not something that I would say everyone would do it and uh, everyone is doing it or is something that is very common I would say it's very scarce and uh, it might be due to the issues and difficulties of uh, video blogging in Iran uh, me personally never bothered anyone never disturbed anyone even though if I happen to um, you know like have any conflicts or any problem with someone in the street if I happen to social like do a social experiments and they got upset or if I happen to prank someone and you know like they were not uh, happy or satisfied with it I talk to them somehow I'll cheer them up you know like sorry that uh, if you know like, it's something that it didn't please them or but at the end of the day I never ever intended to like do video blogging disturbing someone but there were like files uh, there were like cases files uh, I get filed against me there were like two cases which uh, one of them is still going on and I have to attend the court so my lawyer is asking me to attend it with him it's a second session um, I know nothing is going to happen even the judge says that but uh, despite like um, asking, oh sorry, my neck is painful. Let's come back to the normal position. Even though that the file is uh, some sort of stupid accusation, uh, they know my background by now that I'm not like related to any international, any other organization, doesn't matter whether international or local media station. I'm not linked to anyone and anything that I do, I do it for myself, I do it for my own desire and I'm responsible for what I do, so if I make trouble, I have to, I'm accountable, you know, like my accountability is not gonna tell me that to stand off and you know, like don't go to the court or, no, if I have done something wrong, I would know what it, I would love to know what it is and put that into consideration so in the future I won't make the same mistakes. Uh, I talk a lot today this video blog was just me talking about video blogging in my country and talking about why I've been away for too long and uh, why I don't video blog every day anymore it's just like I don't feel like I shall be doing it right now with like I know the views are like happening i'm not expecting like two million views per video or like you know like something unusual but the fact views or anything that's why like from even from like whatever i have uh, i don't earn anything and my earning comes from somewhere else which i have to work harder on that so video blogging takes a lot of my time and that's why I cannot vlog as regular as before. Uh, at some point I was thinking that it's better I um, edit all the video blogs and I start to upload them. You know like from some point it's like I do 10 days then I spend 10 days to upload last 10 days. Then I was like that doesn't make a sense that's not the daily video blogging anymore. Daily video blogging is like that you have to show your day, you have to show your freshness, you know, like you have to. You have to show like what you are going through every day. So that's what it makes it daily vlogging. Daily vlogging is not something that you show places or you show the best things that you have gone through and ignore the rest. No, daily vlogging is like that you should show your entire day whatever you do whatever you make whatever you going through that's daily video blogging peace out later i found my place and it's me on top of the world i am king kong drop the gate i hear the chariot coming today i am king kong i'm king kong i'm king kong I'm King Kong